The Jurassic franchise, known for their fantastic visuals and bringing our favorite extinct animals to life. However, we're going to be taking a look specifically at dinosaurs from the Jurassic World movies, those being the Indominus Rex and the Giganotosaurus. The Indominus Rex is arguably the most vicious dinosaur in the entire franchise, killing her own sister and hunting simply for sport. She is an absolute unit and was despite not even being fully grown. Then we have the Giganotosaurus, joining the likes of the Spinosaurus as the franchise's T-Rex killer. Not only did he kill the Rex once, but twice in the same movie. The Giganotosaurus is the largest carnivore the world has ever seen. Measuring up to 51 feet in length and around 13 tons in weight, the Giga is an absolute beast. Both of these theropods have beat the T-Rex, and why not throw them into a life or death scenario and see who would come out on top? Will the size and strength of the Giganotosaurus overwhelm the Indominus, or the Indominus' skill and weapons pull her to a win. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, before we do, if you enjoy content ranging from kaiju and dinosaurs, this is just the place for you, so make sure to stomp that subscribe button. Now, let's get on to the battle. Strength. Starting off with the Giga, the Giga has shown how powerful it really is. In both fights with the Rex, really just showing its superiority, dragging it around, throwing it, and completely dominating. The Rex weighs in at around 9.6 tons, and to do this to the Rex of all theropods is damn impressive. The Indominus Rex is no pushover either, showing complete and utter domination over the Rex in their fight. Her forearms were basically her trump card, being able to lash onto the Rex and repeatedly slash at her, close her jaw shut, and slam her onto the ground. We also have to factor the Indominus' weight. Her weight is honestly all over the place. Some say 7.2 tons, other sources say 9 tons, and some even say just over 11 tons. Being able to just ragdoll the T-Rex with a potential weight disadvantage really shows how damn powerful these forearms are. However, despite the Indominus' strength, the Giga is simply the stronger of the two, so the Giga takes strength. Bite effectiveness. Considering how we're measuring two theropods against each other, we gotta take a look at their bites. The Giga featured in the prologue, Fight with the Rex, is implied to be the same one from the actual timeline of Dominion due to Biosyn perfecting the cloning process, as well as Rexy killing the Giga being her quote-unquote revenge. So we can use the Giga's prologue fight performance as well. The Giga, while he doesn't have an actual listed bite force, displayed that its bite is no joke, being able to crush the neck of the Rex in their prologue fight. However, its bite is kind of inconsistent. In their fight in the forest, the Rex is able to quite easily get out of the jaws of the Giga, and some might say that the Giga released the Rex, but this was only at the very last milliseconds when we see the lower jaw of the Giga let go, when the Rex was basically completely free. In their final fight, the Rex doesn't seem to have any real issue with the Giga biting its tail and leg, yet just somehow dies from one bite to the neck. And it's not like its neck was crushed like in the prologue, it just dies. But nonetheless, the Giga's bite is definitely very powerful, and now let's cover the Indominus. The Indominus, as we all know, is made of multiple different creatures, and two of these play a very important role in her bite. The Dinosuchus gives the Indominus her jagged protruding teeth, and the Rex provides the Indominus with an extremely powerful bite. And to add on top of this, the Indominus's pit viper DNA allows allows for her jaw to be extended much wider than usual, allowing for more surface area to be covered, and thus more pressure per square inch behind its bite. This is displayed when effortlessly puncturing the bulletproof glass of the gyrosphere. In her fight with Rexy, her jaw was able to drag the Rex quite easily and leave some nasty bleeding in addition to the bleeding caused by her claws, and she most definitely would have killed the Rex if not for Blue's intervention. In excess material, the Indominus's bite strength is also set to the max level of 5. With the combination of the Indominus Rex's wide variety of DNA composition and generally better feats compared to the Giga's one of breaking the Rex's neck, the Indominus Rex takes bite effectiveness. Speed and Agility When it comes to speed, funny enough, both of these large theropods have the exact same speed of 30 miles per hour. However, when it comes to agility, the Indominus is the clear taker here. She was capable of turning and accelerating to its top running speed in a small enclosure, as well as accelerating almost instantaneously when ambushing the Ankylosaurus herd. When fighting Rexy, while she was getting bitten at, she quickly turned the battle into her favor by immediately retaliating and a quick manner with those claw swipes. The Giga is almost at all times portrayed as using his brute strength, so the Indominus and Giga tie on speed, but the Indominus is the clear taker for agility. Moving on to durability. Now this is definitely a weird category. The Giga doesn't have much at all going for it except one major thing, and that's tanking the Rex's bite to the face. The Rex bites with a force of around 9 tons, and all the Giga did was squeal in pain. Comparing this to the Indominus, the Rex did manage to make the Indominus bleed quite a bit from its bites. Now one thing I'd like to note is that the 
Jurassic World Rex compared to the Dominion Rex is actually very close. A lot of people may say the Dominion Rex is the more powerful of the two, as she's quote-unquote bulked up, but however, it mentions that in Fallen Kingdom, Rexy is emaciated as she isn't eating very often. When transporting her to Biosyn, she's eating much better, and is going to resemble her Jurassic Park self in the 93 film. What's important to note is that both the Jurassic Park Rex and the Jurassic World Rex were eating goats daily, and this statement saying that the Dominion Rex is going to start to resemble her original self is basically implying that the Jurassic World and the Jurassic Park Rex is basically the peak of Rexy's health and size. And before we move on, for those who may like to say that the Rex is a lot more bulky in Dominion, I won't disagree, but she appears more bulky before being introduced into her new enclosure at the start of Dominion, where she's still running around in the wild and not eating a lot, so her being more bulky wouldn't line up with other statements. At the very least, Dominion Rexy and Jurassic World Rexy are on the same level, but I'd have to lean towards Jurassic World Rexy as she is the younger Rex and Dominion Rexy is a good past her expected lifespan. So the Giga did fight a slightly weaker Rex and basically no celled its bite, which is still very, very impressive. However, the Indominus doesn't fall behind at all. She was able to take a direct swing from an Ankylosaurus to the head and merely got staggered. She took that insane beating from Rexy and Blue and was still in condition to fight, having no injuries that would prevent her from actually fighting. And most importantly, merely surviving the Mosasaurus bite to the neck is a feat of its own. The Mosa jumped from out of the water and her jaws landing on the Indom would generate a massive amount of force, and that's not even including the Mosasaurus clamping down on the Indom with its powerful jaws. While a lot of people will point to the Giga no-selling the Rex's bite, the Rex actually has the stronger bite. And as we saw in the forest, I think it's safe to say that it was really an awkward position of where the Rex bit the Giga, with the Indominus' defense category being listed at the max level, the Giga no-selling the Rex's bite is still a crazy showing, so durability is a tie. Physical Weaponry This point quite clearly goes to the Indominus. The Giga, while its bite is powerful, is not only weaker than the Indominus's bite, but also its only real means of inflicting damage. You could argue that it could ram its opponents as it did with the Rex, but I wouldn't exactly count that as weaponry. The Indominus, on the other hand, not only has the superior bite, but its deadly forearms and claws, thanks to the Raptor and Therizinosaur's DNA it's composed of. These claws were able to pierce right through the gyrosphere, and not to mention the intense bleeding inflicted onto Rexy. Being able to even clamp the Rex's mouth shut, and most importantly, being able to wipe an entire herd of Apatosaurus. So, with relative ease, the Indominus takes physical weaponry. Intelligence and battle intelligence. Similarly, with physical weaponry, this is quite the obvious category. By just looking at what they've done, the Indominus was so smart that she was able to trick humans into thinking she escaped her enclosure, even knowing to mask her heat signature to hide from the thermal readings. And not to mention, knowing where the tracker was and clawed it out to use as bait for the recapture unit. Her battle intelligence is just as prominent, realizing the Ankylosaurus is armored and flipped it over to reveal its soft belly. The Indominus was able to coordinate with the Raptor Squad to turn on the mercenaries hunting her. Lastly, realizing that the T-Rex's bite is dangerous and opted to use her claws to shut the Rex's mouth to eliminate the threat that was her jaw. When it comes to the Giga, there's honestly really not much. If anything, he kind of seems dumb, especially in that scene where he's going after our group of characters. His intelligence is also not ranked too high either when it comes to outside material compared to the Indominus's, again, max out stat. The Giga's battle intelligence is at least a bit better than its normal intelligence, not exactly being dumb but really just acting as an animal, so again, the Indominus takes both intelligence and battle intelligence. Lastly, we have abilities, and unfortunately for the Giga, again, this category is clearly the Indominus. And the Giga lacks anything besides a strong bite? On the contrary, the Indominus has an actual stronger bite, massive claws on its forearms, can camouflage in its surroundings, and mask its heat signature. After tallying the points, the Indominus Rex takes bite effectiveness, agility, physical weaponry, intelligence, battle intelligence, and abilities. The Giga takes strength. They both tie at speed and durability, and with a final score of 8-3, to three, the Indominus takes the win, and while the score may indicate it's an easy win, it's really not. The Giga is definitely the stronger opponent and just as durable. However, the Indominus doesn't fall much behind in strength, and is relative in durability and speed, and is the more agile opponent, has better weaponry, and is generally much smarter and actually has abilities. The way I'd see this fight going is the Indominus ambushing the Giga, similarly to the way he ambushed the Ankylosaurus herd, and using those powerful jaws to make sure the Giga can't get any major hits in. 
And similarly with Rexy, the Indominus' claws would be its most powerful weapon and lead it to the win. As usual, what do you guys think of the result? Do you agree or disagree? Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments or in my Discord server, as I'm happy to discuss all sorts of different topics with you guys. I absolutely love dinosaurs in the Jurassic franchise, and I've been a fan since I was five, and I love the fact that you guys are enjoying this dinosaur-heavy content. Thank you guys so much for stopping by this week, and tune in next week where we see if the same Godzilla in GVK could take on and defeat Kong with his Battleaxe and Beast Glove. See ya!